Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm up at my customer city barbecue up here in uh, Kentwood, Michigan, with the uh, hickory that I split in the video yesterday. Got assistant manager Daniel here, ready to help me with the unload. Surprised she's wearing a hoodie. It's it's about 80 <laughs> degrees out here. Splinters, I'm uh, you don't mind splinters, okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, normally what we do is they keep all the wood in here by these nice stainless steel ovens and uh, that goes in there and it's fed by natural gas. And so then th that's why they want green wood because it produces uh, more uh, smoke, you know. So this is where it all goes. And uh, looks like they still got a decent amount in here. Probably could last another week or so. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this up on the tripod and uh, Danielle and I are gonna get this done. And then Danielle's gonna hook me up with some food. I'm ready for it, so good. I believe this is the first store in Michigan. Yep. They're, they uh, originated, in, was it in Ohio? Yep, Columbus, Ohio. Okay, and how long have you guys been in business? This is actually our 20 year anniversary this Tw year. 20 we'll years in the business. Yep. yep. Too bad you guys can't smell this food. Now the smoke, it smells so good right now. Got a lot of weight out here. There we go. Now we can grab these easier. There's some bigger pieces in here. That's what they wanted. They last longer. Some smaller ones towards the bottom. I made yesterday of, me, yesterday of me splitting this, you know how I said I hoped I'd beat the rain? Well, I was about 95% done when it started pouring. But you know what? My shirt was already soaked from sweat. Actually felt good. We got her done. Sometimes we have a couple of the cooks help us, but at about 10 o'clock in the morning, they're probably getting ready for the lunch crowd. Yep, they're and fries right yeah. now. Yep. Got any cornbread? Not yet. Ah. I guess I'll take uh, coleslaw then. Sounds good. Turkey. Maybe a couple single ribs. Brisket. Pork. Can do. Got no helper. I can do one. Yeah. <laughs> one. Marsha can do one. I had surgery last week. I'm not allowed to lift anything over 20 pounds. So okay. Can... There might be I some 20 can... pounders in here. I can do a couple there's, there's of There's plenty of smaller ones at the bottom. You know what I should talk about? Oh, you're not there? You did call the doctor. They don't just stop everything and go, okay, come on in. I was hoping they would not be terrified, but whatever. It's like, maybe I'll just lose my load. I don't think that's the thing. They don't have to pay torsos. I'm screwed. I have to do it. Well, I brought my big puppy gave you last time, too, so I could refill that. I'm definitely gonna want some iced tea after this. Yeah, our sweet tea is like my favorite thing to drink after I've been yeah. working hard all day. didn't see the uh, the email I sent for the invoice. Correct. Uh, should I send it to like your personal one or her personal one or 
It's like, just honestly, like we get so many emails. Oh, just really? Sometimes. Okay. Um, I'll start trying to do a better job of paying attention to it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm cool with PayPal, so. Yeah, that's, that's what she was saying. Yeah. Have to do today. It doesn't. It's not a problem. It's funny because yesterday I saw some picture and I was like, "When's Joe coming by again?" She's like, "I don't know. I'm gonna get a hold of him." Yeah. And she's like, "Oh, we missed an email. He's coming well, tomorrow." Yeah. 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 <laughs> And I already, I already knew I was coming, but right. I wanted, to, I wanted to ask her about making this video, you know. Yeah. So I was just about to text her when hers came through. She said, "When are you coming?" I'm like, "Tomorrow." <laughs> I just got it all split, and loaded, ready to go. Uh, before you leave today, too, I'll have one of my business cards. Okay. Um, if you, if you like copy and stuff, you can send it to me. Oh, okay. Um, do a CC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's okay. easier because my, my email doesn't get as much as hers. Or Okay. Now, I'm not sure why I had Bill make me a black jacket or a <laughs> t-shirt because it is uh, a little warm out this yeah, morning it's a little but when I come here in January and February and it's 30 below I'll be wearing my hoodie and my coat <laughs> Limwood pieces that the cooks seem to like it. I know they might burn faster, but I hate yeah. cutting down a live tree and not using every possible piece. You know, yeah, yeah. And then there's, there's times because I check it every morning and I check it every night. And yeah. Sometimes it doesn't need a full log. Yeah, and you exactly. Log on it. So just yeah. One little one, one little or one, one will little do guy it. On there, we'll take care of it. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's nice having a mix of them. Right. Yeah. Plus, I think the, the dense wood like this doesn't burn all that fast, either. Yeah, it seems like the round ones, you know, tend to hold more moisture, even though this stuff was split yesterday. be my only load today the last two times i came i brought you two loads because of my yeah. tree guy buddies so this will probably last you two weeks and i think two weeks of today is labor day yeah. so i think i think i might come on like the wednesday after labor day okay just so i don't have to split it on labor day you know i usually yeah, like sure. doing it the day before because i have to get here so early you know yeah. what i mean if that's okay with you yeah sounds good Second or first ones are on still, right? Just turkey. 
everything with this. I just can't move the load from one spot to the other. But I figured you'd want to be on pits because you're never on pits. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, I peeled all the ribs in the joint this morning. Oh, you're chucking that? Yeah. Oh, it's not. Yes, it is. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. 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 Sorry. You run out of arm over there, uh, Danielle. I'll go ahead and start pulling those up. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Nothing light about history, especially green history. Nothing light about history.
I give some shout outs. If anybody's still watching this video, Jake Morris, Jake Kellogg, Back Forge Firewood, I really liked your last video. And uh, Andy, or his the channel of Andreas VT, sent me an article saying that it's taken about three to four weeks to restore stolen channels right now. So I'm just gonna keep uploading here until further notice. A little truck can hold some wood. Probably not going back and doing some splitting. I don't have to find a spot in the shade. I don't wanna do that in the sun. Definitely put on a lighter colored shirt. Got about ten more pieces to move up, and that's it. on this side. So if any of you guys are up here in the Grand Rapids area, out in Kentwood, come down to 28th Street, give these guys a chance, man. They'll fill you up real good, I promise you that. under 20 minutes that's about what it takes you can see see how full that is now all 100% hickory all the way around so so yeah come come down here 28th Street and I'm not sure what this one is but it's uh, the last road right before M37 so it's kind of on the east side of 28th Street. Near 28th Street and uh, Broadmoor or M37. So go ahead and, uh, oh, I, I was gonna tell you, I had to put those down just to get my uh, my truck up on the curb. So yeah, don't forget those. Yeah, come on down and get some food. Check out these videos at the end. We'll see you at the next one.